Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get and set up IPTV Smart Dress app on your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is pretty simple and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, of course, you'll have to get the app called Downloader. If you don't already have it, to do so, we have to go to search on your Fire Stick device. So click on that search bar right here. Let's open it. And now we start typing Downloader in the search bar. So let's type in downloader. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Let's click on downloader. And that's the app that you gotta get to your Fire TV Stick device. But after you get downloader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up. So now in order to actually set up downloader on your Fire Stick, you have to go to settings. So here we are, just click on that button with a gear icon. After that, you have to scroll down until you see my Fire TV. Let's open it. And now from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to about, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That is in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have popped out for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you gotta go to install known apps, open them, and now from here all you have to do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is. Let's open it up. And here's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. However, before actually using downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to the Netherlands right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So, finally, we go back to the list of applications on your Fire Stick, locate the Downloader from here, and now we gotta open it up. So, we open up the Downloader application, and now from here, all we gotta do is just open that search bar and start entering the code, which is gonna be 47827. So once again, the code is 47827. That's the code you have to enter, then just click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. 
It really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now the website of IPTV Smarters has opened, and in a couple of moments the download of the app will start to your Fire TV Stick device. And yep, here it is, so the download started. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case I got a pretty fast connection, so that shouldn't take us too long. And after the app was downloaded, you have to click on install, and after that just wait for the app to get finally installed on your Firestick device. It takes a couple of seconds to do so, usually. And then after the app is installed, do not click on open yet, instead you should press on done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Firestick device. So click on done, and then delete and delete. Yeah, click on delete, and this way we got rid of unnecessary files from our Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick does not really have too much of free space available anyway. And now, finally, let's go to the list of applications on your Fire TV Stick, and here it is. We open it, and then here at the bottom you'll find the IPTV Smarters application, which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lights. Click on it, and then press on move to front. This way IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Then let's safely open the IPTV Smarters Pro application on your Fire Stick. From here you have to select your device type. In our case obviously it's going to be TV, so we click on save. And then you have to scroll down the license agreement and accept it. So we accept the agreement and from here it's actually pretty easy to set up. So if your IPTV provider gave you an extreme code, you would need to select that option. And here add a name to your playlist, and then use a username, a password, and a link which were given to you by your IPTV provider. And there are thousands of different IPTV or live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose, or which one to use. So all this data will be given to you by your live TV provider, such as the username, the password, and the link which you have to enter in the IPTV Smarters Pro application. So you have to fill in the data and then click on add a playlist. And after that uh, the IPTV playlist is going to appear right here in the list of playlists in your app. Alternatively you can also use the M3U link here in this app. So if your live TV provider gave you an M3U link instead of Axiom code, that's an option for us as well, you just have to click on M3U playlist. So we'll click on it and then you add the name to your playlist. After that, just either upload it as a file or click on M3U URL. And then you would have to enter the link to your IPTV, IPTV playlist right here. After that, click on that Add Playlist button. And this way you are going to add a playlist to your IPTV Smarters app. So today you learned how to get IPTV Smarters Pro as well as how to set it up on your Fire Stick. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.